It's 2022 and the last time you purchased hardware was seven years ago and that hardware is starting to age. You start to scope out all your new hardware, you speak to vendors, you speak to distributors, you speak to your trusted IT partners and all you keep hearing is, why don't you just go to cloud? Have you considered hosting it in cloud? Do you really want to refresh your physical environment? Do you realize how much cheaper your cloud options are? You're probably sick of hearing it by now, so let's just go through the facts. Let's go through some of the things you should consider before you actually move into the cloud or before you actually purchase some new physical infrastructure. Before customers start the journey of moving things to cloud or start moving their infrastructure into a new platform where they've refreshed all the hardware, it's really important to understand why they're doing it and if there is any other options. So let's go through those. So why are you moving into the cloud? Why are people suggesting for you to move into the cloud? Why is it the go-to solution now? It's really important to understand the why and whether someone has their own agenda or an organization has their own agenda before you actually make a decision. The very common reason that we hear is that it is budget driven. Whether you're comparing the cost of 10 physical nodes or the cost of one physical node that you're planning to refresh, I urge you to actually make a good comparison that is like for like with having something in cloud and I urge you to only make that comparison over the cost of the hardware over seven years. Even I think seven years is pushing it these days, but I think it's a good sort of marker to start with. When you consider these costs, make sure to include things like licensing, maintenance costs of physical nodes, electricity costs, rack hire costs, vendor support costs. And when you're comparing with the cost of cloud, then make sure that you also consider things like licensing in cloud, as it can be a little bit different, hiring of cloud engineers and the increased cost of employees and the cost of backups and DR in cloud services. Maybe your environment is ever expanding or dynamic in nature. This makes the most sense to host in cloud because you're able to spin things up and spin things down and things are changing very quickly. And sometimes you don't want to be committed to a whole heap of Hardware, when you don't actually need it all the time, you only need it every now and then. That's a really good use case for moving into cloud. On the other hand, you could have the same environment for the past 10 years that you barely had to refresh, you barely need to touch, the applications are static, the shared services are static, everything is static and nothing's really changing in there. It's really just a core service that you have to run. That makes the most sense to run on-premises in my opinion. Sometimes, a lot of the time, you are getting pushed in a certain direction. In reality, you don't really need it. You just need something to really run the way it should and you need to be able to write that cost off over seven years or something like that. Something where you're not often changing and you're not expanding, I think maybe can remain on premises, still do the cloud costing exercise, but I don't think it always works out that black and white. How are we going to get to the cloud? So before we start talking about moving into the cloud, how are you going to actually get into the cloud? And the question is actually twofold. The first question is, how are you going to get there? As in, how are you physically going to get there? Or networkly, or logically, whatever. How are you actually going to get there? How is your computer, the workstation, the client, how is it going to get to the cloud? If you're gonna move all your applications to the cloud, if you're going to move all your services to the cloud, how is everyone's workstations going to get there? And the second part of the question is, how will you transition all your services into a cloud platform? How we actually get all that environment into cloud. A lot of the time people will bring on a trusted partner or a channel partner or they'll hire some contractors or they'll just use their current cloud engineers or system engineers to get it there. But what is the actual best way to do it? Because remember, you are replacing an environment that has been built over many years, maybe 10, 20, 30 years of of continual service improvement in your current environment and you're going to move it all into the cloud. So I think it's very naive to think that you can just pick up everything and put it in there. You need to actually do a complete architecture exercise where you understand what's going where, you understand how you're going to grow in the future, how everything talks to each other, how all the data flows, how all the communication happens between the servers and the client and all the inter subnet traffic that goes on in there and how you're going to secure everything. A lot of thought needs to put into it. It's not very easy and it's not a small exercise at all. So make sure that you explore all of your options when you're either refreshing your hardware on premises or moving into the cloud to make sure that you actually understand why you're doing it, how you're doing it and how much it's going to cost. We've actually found that some customers start looking into the cloud. They start looking at moving a whole heap of services and servers into the cloud and then they find that they're not even using a lot of this stuff and a lot of the stuff can be replaced by SaaS services. So their move into the cloud, as in moving their virtual infrastructure like VMs and networks and services into Microsoft Azure or GCP or AWS, ends up turning into more of a decommission of everything and moving to a modern workplace and a modern type desktop. 
where you're actually only connecting to things that are already in SaaS environments. So maybe they move all their applications and line of business applications into things like SaaS platforms. And then the workstations just get managed by something like Microsoft Endpoint Manager or Intune or something like that. And all they have to do from then is actually just connect to those SaaS platforms and manage those devices using something like Microsoft Endpoint Manager. Other times people start doing the costing exercise of moving things to cloud and how much it's going to cost in cloud. And then they compare it to the cost of actually having hardware on-premises refreshed over the next seven years and they often find that maybe it's not really worth it for them. So just make sure you explore all options. Don't go to a channel partner or a trusted partner or an advisor that is only pointing you in one direction. Make sure that you are actually exploring everything. Either way, do your due diligence and if you get stuck, contact a professional. I'm a professional, Cloud Context are professionals. If you need any help, let me know. Drop a comment in the section below, send me an email, visit the website, all the usual stuff. Otherwise, we'll see you next time.